Hey, this is Elijah with the Oxygen team, and today we're gonna be building a directory website using Oxygen and a plugin called Directorist. Now, Directorist handles everything to do with directory websites, and they have a bunch of cool extensions, including an Oxygen integration. So this gives you the ability to drag and drop director specific elements in the builder and customize them a bit. So we're gonna be using this paid extension, Directorist and Oxygen to build out a directory site. Now I've already got a WordPress install set up with Directorist, the Directorist extension and Oxygen installed and some default dummy data that Directorist allows you to import while setting up the site. And there are a couple different types of listings and things like that that we can work with as we build this site out. So I think that we need to start with the home page. So let's go to pages and go to home. Okay, so here we are on our home page and we're gonna wanna add our listings here. So I like this section, but I don't want this other stuff. So I'm, I'm gonna delete the columns element here and then we're gonna add into here one of our directorist elements, which is going to be all listing, which will give us all of our listings. Now there are several customization options under general that allow you to change the view from grid to list and map, et cetera. The number of columns, pagination, several features that allow you to customize the way this is displayed. And we also have query settings here, which allow you to change the number of listings and several other things. But for this use case, I'm just gonna leave the listings as default, and I'm gonna keep these uh, couple of filtering options up here at the top. So first thing, when you get to the site, you see the listings that are available. One thing I do wanna add though is pagination, which I think is off by default. Let's see here, show pagination, yes and we hit apply params and we're gonna see that there at the bottom. That's just perfect. Now let's go down here and let's uh, use this section. Let's take a look at how it's built. We have div one, div two. It looks like our background is, I'm gonna guess that's a gradient. Nope, yep, it is a gradient in the custom CSS. So that'll be nice. Let's add another directorist element, which is going to be all categories, which should give us a nice look at the categories that are available. But we don't want this other stuff necessarily. Maybe we'll get rid of the picture and we'll just say categories. View all. And then I don't think we need the open hours here or this stuff here. So let's get rid of that. And the button, probably not necessary either. So let's save that. And now we have our categories. And again, we're using dummy data so it doesn't have all the images and things like that. And then down here, we'll kind of leave that. Um, let's get rid of this section. I don't think we'll need it for what we're doing here. And we'll get rid of this. And that gives us a really basic listing website. Now the other thing we might wanna do here is add a search. So let's add another section. In fact, we'll just duplicate this one because I want the same background color. And in the top one, we'll get rid of the all listing element. And instead we're going to go to the directorist elements once again, and we're going to look for search listing. Let's drop that in. And we're gonna go over to advanced size and spacing and give this 100% width so it spreads out and gives itself some room. And let's remove the top and bottom padding from this section since this element already has some padding. And we'll drop that as well. We also can go into the search listing and we can hide the title and subtitle. Since I want it a little shorter, that will probably work much better. So now we have a search, we have our listings, and we have some categories. So let's save that. And let's go back to the admin panel because next we need to customize the individual listing view, which we'll do through an Oxygen template. So let's go back to the WordPress admin panel, Oxygen templates, and let's add a new template. Let's call this single directory listing. We're gonna inherit the main template and we're gonna go, where does this template apply? We're gonna go to singular 
and directory listings. And then we want to give it a template priority of 10 because there is a default template that might fight with this one. And let's go to edit with oxygen. Now we're going to add a section and we're going to drop in another directorist element called single details. So let's drop this in here and this is going to give us all of our listings, individual details. We don't have to do any of this stuff ourselves. It just drops it all in. Now you could add other directorist elements around this element to build out this template. But for this particular example, I like it a little bit simpler. So let's save and jump to the front end and just check how everything's working. So when we go to home, let's start at home. We have all listings, add listing, which we haven't added yet, but we'll set that up here in a minute. And we scroll down, we have our search, we have our listings here. And if we click into one of these listings like Holly Cottage, you can see all of our listing details here. So let's go up and let's try the go back button, which should just take us back to our home page. Now the thing Directorist allows you to do is let other people submit listings. They have extensions that let you monetize this as well, which I thought was super cool. But for the basic plugin, it's just a matter of users being able to submit listings. So let's go ahead and go to add listing, which is completely unstyled right now, but it kind of works out of the box. We can go in here and add our title, description, everything you need to add a listing, and then agree to the privacy policy terms and conditions, and then save and preview which is super cool. But if users are going to be adding listings, they also need to be able to manage their listings and things like that. So let's jump back to the admin and take a look at the pages that Directorist has set up for those purposes. We should have, like here we have an author profile. Let's take a look at that. That's gonna show me my profile and my listings. Again, looks pretty good out of the box and it's wrapped in our oxygen design. So let's go to dashboard and let's edit that with oxygen because I think that's gonna be the primary way that users would interact with this and manage their settings. So let's add a section and then add a director's element called user dashboard. Now this is where users can go to manage all of their settings. So let's go back to WordPress front end and take a look. And this is a pretty solid dashboard and it shows all of my listings, their status. I can edit them. I can also delete them. I can submit more listings and I can log out. So probably what I would do is I would turn this button into sign up. And then once a user signs up, they would be able to come to their dashboard and add listings and things like that. So as you can see, in a matter of a few minutes, we have all the primary functionality of a listing site set up on our Oxygen site. So this could be added to an existing Oxygen site, and all you need to do is just drop in the directorist elements where you want them in your design, and everything seems to just work pretty well. So again, this is Elijah with the Oxygen team, and that's a quick look at how to make a directory site using directorist and Oxygen. Thank you very much for watching.